Here to talk more about the Fed and the economy more broadly is David Kelly, chief global strategist at J.P. Morgan Funds. Mr. Kelly, welcome. Uh, you just heard uh, Vince Reinhardt of a company that will remain nameless say that he thinks the Fed actually wants to get out of the stimulus business and begin tapering. I was talking about a half hour ago to a former policymaker who said, I don't really think they want to uh, start any tapering and probably not until the end of the year at the soonest. What do you think? I think they do want to get out of ta out of tapering, but the, what they're trying to do is they're trying to quietly move an elephant out of a room, and you can't do that. And so I was frustrated also by the fact that they didn't put this this timetable, which which Ben Bernanke announced, uh, uh, you know, in June. They didn't put that in the statement, and so we're left wondering: Well, do they, are they still intending to remove uh, remove QE starting at the end of this year? I think they they want to because I think they have to. What I, what I, people don't talk about enough is the problems they are building for themselves by continuing to allow their balance sheet to grow. I mean, it's not, it's not just status quo. They are adding a trillion dollars a year to their balance sheet, and that's going to, those are chickens that are going to come home to roost. And the bigger the balance sheet, the more of a problem they're going to have in the long run. So they do need to get, get out of it, but they're just so sensitive to doing anything to upset markets that they didn't put that timetable in this statement today. And I, I think that's a mistake. They've, they've got to lay out clearly that if the economy is improving, there is some cost to this continued quantitative easing, and they're going to gradually get out of it. Well, so, David, with all this uncertainty on what's going to happen and when it's going to happen with the tapering, what are you doing with your investment strategy? Are you changing it or tweaking it even? And what's more important to you, all this taper talk or these jobs report? We have one coming out on Friday. Well, of course, they're connected. Our, our general advice to people is that obviously be balanced. I think that's the first important thing. But over time, we think the economy is improving, that's going to push up earnings. And we think the economy is improving, and that's going to push up interest rates. And so you want to be a little tilted towards equities relative to fixed income. And that, and that really is the same as we've said all, all along uh, for, for quite some time. I think the jobs reports are increasingly important. I think the markets will be very sensitive to it, because that does tell you about when they may start. I mean, even, it's, even if it's a question of, will they start reducing their purchases in September or December? That depends a little bit on what we see uh, this Friday and also in the August jo jobs report, which we'll get a month from now. So those jobs reports will be very important. But ultimately, the, the economy is getting better, and the Federal Reserve has got to take off the trading wheels sooner or later. So, David, I, I sense that you'd like the Fed to be even more transparent, actually put a timetable on, uh, on, what they're going to, on when they're going to do something. Mm. But as I think back to the era of Paul Volcker and Alan Greenspan, uh, I have to feel that We've been spoiled by the level of transparency we have today. That would never have been the case uh, way back then. Now we hear they tell us they signal very clearly what they're going to do. Now we want them to tell us precisely when they're going to do it. What's your reaction to that perspective? Well, I, I, what, overall, I, I think they do need to be, because they've got such an extraordinary policy in place, they need to lay out how they're going to get rid of it. They, they've opened this, this sort of can of worms by saying, uh, first of all, by having QE and then by saying they're going to get rid of it at some stage, if they, they need to lay out a timetable to help markets adjust to it. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, to me, it's, it's like good parenting. You've got to be consistent in telling your kids what's going to happen. And if you consistently tell them each time, they, they will get the picture. And I think the, there's too much uncertainty in this economy. It's caused by this program and so the Federal Reserve, uh, in part, and so the Federal Reserve needs to be clear about, about right. how they're going to get rid of it. I take I, your I point. Think that, I think clarity is important. Go ahead. Right. No, I was going to say, I, I think your point about the fact that th these are incredible or extraordinary policy measures that they've taken, so it requires some extraordinary explaining and signaling to the markets uh, to, uh, about what they're going to That's do right. and when. David, thank you very much for being with us. David Kelly is Chief Anytime. Global Strategist at J.P. Morgan Fund.